That house makes me nervous that we won't get out of it. The fact that he thought that was okay blows my freaking mind. I mean, so many things I pointed out and he, he's like, he gives me this look like, dude, you can't be freaking doing bullshit work. It just will not work, man. Like a house like that will not sell. Well, if you're looking for a man, you found one. Let's look at something. Hey, no more parking right here, okay? Okay. This is problemo. Yeah. Hey, we gotta get this moved. Oh, it's no good. Look at the siding, but the siding is good, you see? And then, why did we order that? Okay, and then, have you told Ross? Okay, this is what we got to avoid happening, right? Leaving material just sitting there? Yeah. That's why we don't need to order crap. We gotta get that going today, okay? Okay. Because it, it's just money sitting here. So this siding is okay. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah, just clean it really good and paint. Okay. I think we need to... Some new brick steps. No, 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 no. I would just build them out of wood. Okay. Right? You know what I'd rather do? I'd rather just get this house done and see how we're looking on, on budget and then make a decision here. I think that'd be better. Okay? And then get Jim to do new handrails right here, paint these stairs, clean them up and paint them. And I think we're good. Our cabinet guy's here. Hey, um, help us lay this thing out. Please, sir. We're gonna try to put the refrigerator there. For a typical refrigerator, you need 40 inches for a refrigerator cabinet. You need 24 inches for a dishwasher. You need 36 inches for a kitchen sink base. And you need 30 inches for a range and a microwave or a range hood over for a typical house. Okay, so what we normally do is we plan on 40 inches for the fridge, right? Yeah. Are you good with that? We need a 16 inch base cabinet between the refrigerator and the dishwasher. Okay, I like that. But that's gonna only leave a three inch filler. Filler, I like that. Okay. Right next to the sink. Yeah. So you're gonna be standing perfect. at the sink pretty close to the front of this cabinet. I think that's okay. This hood light or this can light is gonna be in the way? Well, it's just not gonna be in the center of the fridge. When you that's get okay. that close, it, it really... Will, will it be in the way? No, it's 20, no, 25 okay. and three quarters is so the front of my truck. Barely okay. Barely okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. So typically, if, if we lay out the lighting better, we would want the can light in the center of the refrigerator. But the way this house is laying out, it's gonna be hard to do that. Do you think we have room for a small island or is it gonna be too cramped in here? So the, 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 the depth of a base cabinet is 24 inches. So, and you need at least three feet of walking space in between the base cabinet on the perimeter wall and the island. Can you look under this house and see if everything looks good? Cause right here, it's really bad, you know? Yep. I just want to make sure it's it's strong, okay? That measures the same. And in these old houses, sometimes the floors get really out of whack. And because his cabinets are straight and level, sometimes when he installs them, it can have a gap underneath part of the, um, the cabinets. So sometimes you have to uh, put a filler piece up under the cabinets to kind of make everything look right. That looks good though, don't it? How bad is it? This here? Is yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, I bet it's up underneath that duct work is where it's jacked up at. Yeah, you can see where this, it needs, we need to put a, jack this up and put a support straight down right there. Or what you need to do is put a, a hanger here and here and really block that in well the right way. You know what I'm saying? You think we'd be able to hang all this together? Um, that's normally how they do it. Like, is anything rotted right here? 
Uh -uh. Okay, either way, this will not cut it. So whatever you think we need to do, we need to do that the right way. Maybe, so maybe pour a uh, concrete footing and put, the, and, and put block, but no wood, only block. Okay. okay. But on top of the block, you can have wood. Yeah. yeah. Nice home, uh, right near Irondale and kind of in that same Crestwood area. It's a three bedroom, two bath, maybe 1200 square feet. It did not have a deck. We uh, came in and added a back deck, all new windows, new roof, new electrical, new plumbing, new heating and air, all inspected. Hardwoods, we did take a wall down right here. We put the kitchen in. It did have a uneven spot, like un unlevel. And we jacked it up some, put some uh, supports underneath. Um, Adam kind of masked it with his trim a little bit, which is good. So the master's right here um, with a beautiful little bathroom, kind of what is normal in one of our houses. Really looks like the house we just left, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, almost identical bathroom. Same vanity, same tile. We kind of, in the same price point houses, we kind of tend to use the same thing. We purchased it for $100,000. We put about 70 grand in it. I think, I haven't ran the final numbers. We'll probably list for mid, mid, mid 200s mid to high 200s. There's just not much inventory in this price range, so it might feel a little overpriced, but once you start looking at what's on the market, there's nothing in the price range of this house. So I think it'll pull, you know, 269. Obviously you have closing costs and realtor fees and all that bull crap. The hardwoods or the back deck or the heat and air, electrical, actually they're all, you know, you know, five grand, five grand, five grand, it just, it, it'll five grand you to death. A kitchen cabinet's five grand. Yeah, probably six grand on the kitchen cabinets. Nothing really real expensive. Not one thing was a lot of money, but it's just a lot of little things. Sorry, I know. Mm -hmm.